CJ, do you ever surprise yourself? Uh, yes, because um, it's still like getting kind of um, I'm still kind of getting used to it. Playing running back, you know, I like it's my third game ever playing running back. So today I kind of surprised myself with that long run, but got to give a lot of credit to the O line and the receivers. Like the O line made it very easy. Then uh, Caden Prather had a great block down the field. So yeah, it still kind of like surprises me too. How much fun is it to be a part of a duo with, with you and Mathis where you each bring something a little bit different, but you've been really effective so far? Well, I wouldn't really say we're a duo. I feel like the whole running back room could do the same thing. It's just more of like who gets the opportunity. Like, it's six of us in that room that could do the same thing that me and Tony do. So that's what I really feel like. Each body, everybody in that room could do the same thing. Did you get tired in the long run? Uh, I got a little winded, but like that was my first big long run in college football. Very, very long play, but I got back like probably like the next play because I had to get on special teams. So I was pretty okay. You mentioned Caden's block, and not there were several he he threw in that. Did you? I mean, you can't see behind you. Did you look up to the scoreboard? Did you, I've seen running backs do that, take a peek at what's behind them by seeing the video board. No, I really didn't look behind me. I just trusted that uh, Kate was gonna make the block, and then as I uh, went to the sideline, I, I saw it on a uh, big screen. I see they made a great block. So, Coach Jim Nunes, the running you. back that you were talking about, what are some of the fundamentals that you've been studying to try to learn? I mean, there's so many, you know, obviously different little things you got to learn about being a good running back. What are the couple of important things you've tried to get in the swing of? Uh, just protecting the ball is uh, kind of different from playing receiver and then running back because you have more people attacking you, as I should say, at running back than receiver. So just uh, protecting the ball. Uh, one big thing, Coach Scott always tells me before every play I get in, uh, celebrate your feet on contact. And that's probably like the two major things I try to like focus on to elevate my game. Coach talked about the amount of plays that you've been receiving so far. What have you been doing? What do you need to do in terms of getting in shape to be able to handle even a bigger work? Uh, I just feel like uh, taking care of my body. Uh, I had a big brother I should call on the team, Bryce, who uh, had a conversation with me like a few days ago about uh, taking care of my body, doing more recovery, drinking more water, uh, stretching, like little things like to keep my body at a, uh, to be able to play at a high level. How much of these first three weeks exceeded your expectations of what you thought the first three weeks would be like when you got here? Uh, it was kind of uh, surprising but I just say but at the same time you just gotta enjoy each day like throughout fall camp I enjoyed each day each day as days was going on I was stacking days and then when I had my opportunity I made a big play and then it just was rolling from there we were talking to coach a little bit ago and he was talking about when he recruited you they weren't quite sure exactly where they were going to use you but they just knew you were a good football player you're going to make plays where does that competitive nature come from have you always been that way uh, throughout uh, my whole football career, I never played the same position ever. I probably played, like, high school, I started at the X, then I moved to the Z, then I moved to the Y, then I moved to H-back. So it was, like, always, like, a transition throughout high school. And then Little League, I just played mostly defense, so I've been changing around a lot. So I was just really – I'm just really a football player. Like, I could do it all. What was the conversation with Coach Scott like at the beginning of camp? Um, did it catch you at off, off guard at all? Like, okay, I'm going to do this. Well, technically – I didn't change uh, running back at camp. I changed uh, positions, I think, my first week here, uh, which was uh, June, i say, 7th. That's when I, like, knew I was going to play running back. And then from then, I was just, like, watching Tony and Justin. And then towards fall camp, that's when, like, the coaches could really, like, talk to you and, like, help you out. That's when I was like, okay, I can really do it. Not that you weren't good in high school, but do you call your high school coaches and tell them, Hey, I told you I could be a running back. Did you ever tell them that? No. I, I always, technically, they tried to put me at tight end. And I always told them I could play receiver. So I still talk to my high school coaches to this day. I always thank them because they gave me the opportunity to move around the field and find a position. So I always like talk to them, especially uh, Coach Green, and I talked to uh, Coach Sims a, a few times. CJ, you're from a pretty talented area for high school football. Um, Tulane's a fine program, but did, did you wonder – what people were missing that you knew? Can you repeat that again, please? Did you wonder like what what you knew that other people were missing? Like why why hadn't you gotten greater attention earlier in the process? I know it heated up at the end, but was there any time for a while that you kind of thought that you knew something other people didn't know? Well, I feel like everything in life happens for a reason, no matter what. Like me ended up at West Virginia happened for a reason, so I always just like 
enjoy every day, as I was saying earlier, and live day by day. One of the other things you've shown a lot of earlier is a pretty lethal stiff arm. Does that just come naturally? Have you had to practice that much, or is it just something that has been a part of you as a football player? Well, throughout high school, I was a big receiver. Like, you know, I was running routes at 225 in high school. That's unusual. So I had to, like, find something that helped me. So I wasn't really a fast guy. I wasn't really a shifty guy. I was more like a big punisher. So the stiff arm was something that I just naturally carried over to uh, the running back position. What do you weigh now? Uh, 240. 240. You said you were a little under that. Yeah, yeah, but I'll be 240. I'll be 240 tomorrow, though. <laughs> the motions of this team over the last couple of weeks, just to, how, how did you guys bounce back? How, how down was this team emotionally? Uh, I say it got to us a little bit, to like the day after the game, but uh, we have great leaders on the team who uh, try to sink us back in and get our mind ready for uh, each game. Like, we really don't look in our rear view. We try to look forward. So, like, those two losses that uh, you're probably thinking of, like, we don't really remember them. We just, like, look at the good, then we look at the bad and see what we can do to make the bad good. On that note, do you think this was kind of like a get-right game in a sense that you guys now have confidence built heading into a rivalry game and then the rest of your Big 12 schedule? I definitely think it gave us a, a little momentum showing that, like, we could really compete at a high level. So I just hope we could carry this on to the next week and build from there. Do you have any expectations yet for the Virginia Tech game just as far as, as the, the rivalry and, and what it means? Not really. I'm just going to enjoy this win. And then tomorrow when, I, when we come in, that's when we'll start Virginia Tech prep. As a guy that has so much position experience in a game like this where you have a lot of – it's kind of weird to ask you this, but you have, you know, younger guys coming in and uh, playing to try to prove themselves. You know, what are you seeing out of the everybody that was able to step up today a little bit? Uh, I feel like uh, they do a great job throughout practice to make us better. So them just getting in the game was kind of like natural because they compete against like the first team. Like they go against Tony, Bryce, Caden, and Sam James. So them just going out there today was like more like natural because they compete against us all the time.